Yeah, have a great time. Everything's going to be fine. Don't you worry. Yeah. Love you. I'm missing you already. Bye. Right, she's gone. A thog video. Hi, my name's Mike Raven. Um, known online as the, the name Fog. Um, you'll obviously know that I'm not my wife, Sharice, who normally does these floss tube videos. She's in Australia at the moment, which was referred to in the last video once or twice. If possible, there's a slight drinking game you could play to see how many times we mentioned it between the two of us. So she's, for some reason, left me in charge of her social media accounts, or at least some of them, certainly a YouTube. So um, I've got the opportunity to post a, a video um, while, while she's away. Um, I know she is hoping to maybe do a vlog or something while she's away, and ideally we'll get that posted while she's away, so it might come in a week or two, but we don't, you know. Technical difficulties of getting a video from Melbourne to the other side of the world, to the UK, and she's got lots of things going on. If you're not aware of why she's in Melbourne, um, has my sister-in-law had her first child um, recently, last month. Um, congratulations. And Teresa has gone to help her out for a few weeks, which, you know, it's fantastic. So I just want to do a quick video because there's a giveaway to talk about and there's also a few other bits. And uh, basically give you guys something to, to have, have a watch. So, um, a few people have said very kindly um how how am i coping while while i'm alone for for three weeks um with with my son eden um okay so far um we're both still alive i've not set fire to anything we you know touch wood we're, we're okay um i have found that basically every day since sharice went however i have done something stupid uh, i've been i've been documenting them so she went on the Tuesday, so on the Wednesday I left the hob on for several hours. I didn't realise until late on in the evening I came downstairs to make a cup of tea and I thought, I can feel something hot in, in this area. And the oven was off and I couldn't work out why and then I realised the hob was still on, been on for like four hours. So I did that. On the Thursday I left my keys on the outside of the door for about six hours. didn't realise until I was ready to go to bed and try to lock the door. Yeah, um, I also accidentally bought two pizzas that day, but, um, you know, that's not really an accident. Well, it was an accident, but it's a nice accident to have, so we had to eat two pizzas. It's fine. Friday, I stabbed myself in the hand. Saturday, I stabbed myself in the hand again. Sunday, I need Eden in the face, accidentally. He's fine, don't worry about it. Um, and he got his revenge, because on Monday, he hit me in the face and cut my lip. So, yeah. Tuesday, I managed to open the car door on the back of my foot, knocking my shoe off. Um, Wednesday, I burnt my hand on the pan and broke through the attic door accidentally. Um, if you're not aware of the layout of our house, Sharice's craft room, which we're doing the filming in, that's in our attic. And what we have is we have a bolt on the door. Because the attic's got a couple of like skylight windows, and we're slightly concerned that if my son came up here by himself, he, he quite likes looking out the window, and he could open the window by himself and, you know, lean out and fall out, potentially. You know, it could accident, yeah, could happen. So we have a bolt on the door. And the the other day, on, on Wednesday, um, I heard a noise, which I thought was from the attic. I thought, oh my God, Eden's got up to the attic. Um, I'd best get up there. Now the door sticks a bit, so you tend to have to turn the handle and shoulder it open. It's when when we painted it, we, there's it could do with like just a little bit of shaving off to make it fit nicely, and we didn't. So I'm kind of used to whenever I come in here, turn the handle, shoulder it open, life is good. Of course, I did this. Um, we have a bolt on the door, which stops Eden from getting into the attic, and. The reason the door wasn't opening when I turned the handle was because the the bolt was on. So I just shouldered straight through the bolt, broke the bolt, snapped a little bit off the door frame. Oh dear. So that was that. Um, that was yesterday. Well, I'm feeling, filming this on Thursday the 4th. Thursday the 4th. So far, touch, touch wood. I haven't done anything stupid yet. But the day's not over, so I'm sure I can find something to happen. Apart from that, everything's going all right. Um, I've been looking after Sharice's shop while she's been away. I think I designed 
just um, packing orders and sending orders off so I'm happily doing those I've got a couple more orders ready to go out I'll be mailing those tomorrow so by all means if you if you have to need a reminder the stuff that's on the shop is here it's ready it's made for me to to wrap up and package and send out so feel free to do that um, it's been quite interesting actually because during the, during the parcel wrapping my parents have run their own mail order business for about 15 years now um, facebook.com slash raven magical they do all kinds of new age and win wonderful stuff mail order UK only they were made UK and Ireland something like that um, and the just sticks and candles and all that kind of stuff and the the way they operate is basically my dad does like the heavy heavy lifting in a way he do he, he picks orders well they both pick orders um but my dad does probably the majority of the picking i'd say but his big big task is wrapping the orders and he's got a massive wrapping bench and he space spends like all day thursday every thursday sat wrapping tens if not hundreds of parcels um so it's kind of like what my dad's been doing although it's a lot easier doing the needle minders because uh, with my parents business people can order things like um a joystick and a rock and trying to package those things in a parcel in a in such a way that the rock doesn't crush the joystick can be a bit tricky so needle minders in comparison is a lot lot easier plus Sharice very kindly wrote me um, a 16 step guide on how to wrap the orders so I know exactly I just follow that life is good so that's all great um, now obvious oh what have I been eating because people are saying it's going to be takeaways every day it's not been takeaways every day we've had two takeaways out of the first nine days and one of those days I had people coming round, so it wasn't a we'll just have takeaway because we can't be bothered to eat it was we're gonna have takeaway because everyone's having takeaway so I'm not too worried by that um, I've been playing some tricks to try and get him to eat more vegetables um, he doesn't realize the parsnips are not chips so if he asks for chips I cook him parsnips and he eats them it's fantastic that's really good uh, <laughs> and I've made a ma um, the first day the streets went I made a massive massive pot full of vegetable mash not just potato mash basically anything any kind of vegetable that you could mash went in there and I've got loads of it frozen so I had some of that with my tea today so that's quite good um, I'm defrosting some steaks to have tomorrow so I'm looking forward to that because I love steak it's going to be amazing um, yeah, so don't worry, people. If you're having concerns, we are still here. We're alive. Life is good. Um, Cherise, just to confirm, she did get to Australia fine. She's with her sister. Yeah, it's great. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing from her and, and everything. Um, we'll keep you in touch. It's quite weird with getting your head around the time differences because I think she's nine hours ahead. So I kind of have to remember that when it gets like mid-afternoon here, she's going to bed. So, yeah, anyway... Well, this is Floss Tube, and of course we need to talk about cross stitch. Plus, your isn't here, so I've done some cross stitch. I have a whip, uh, <laughs> um, but you don't do cross stitch, Mike. Well, I've decided to have a go, and do you know what? It's actually been quite pleasant. It's been it's been all right doing the cross stitch. I've quite enjoyed it. W what I did, um, I went to our one of our local shops. They had some fourteen count Ada, so I got some fourteen count Ada. Now, Cherise showed this book off in her last video, Mega Mini Cross Stitch. It was one of her birthday presents. I can't remember if, you, if this was something that Cherise asked for or if it was something that I just bought her because I thought, oh, this looks kind of good. But it's actually got some quite nice designs that I've liked the look of. And one of the ones that it's got is a little laptop. Um, so, I took the design for the laptop. Um, let me just find the right photo so you can see what the what it's supposed to look like before I show you what I've actually done which is a little bit different um, that one there so it's the laptop little blue screen now what I've done there was a few sort of mistakes I've made which I've kind of lived with but I wasn't overly keen on the on on the screen itself just it was just like a blue screen with a little few icons on there and I wasn't really that it was okay, nothing wrong with that, but I thought I'd like it to be something that 
I recognise. So what I've what I've done, this is this is what I've done so far. And unless you're computer geek, you won't recognise these colours. There was a home computer computer in the 80s called the ZX Spectrum, and its colour, its sort of logo colours was a sort of slanting pattern of blue, green, orange, and red. And so I've, I've I've kind of done that as a sort of a little bit of a homage. Now I have kind of just had a bit of a go at this. The colours in the book are DMC. Sharice has got a huge pile of DMC here, and I don't really want to mess with the DMC because it's Sharice's DMC, and she she generally does everything unless she's in variegated or some kind of fancy floss. She generally uses DMC. So what I've done is I've basically just gone with the closest colours I could find with her anchor because she has a she also has a box of, of anchor which it's not as big a box so I've just been using that and yeah I'm I'm quite pleased with that. Um there's a few there's a couple of little areas on there. Um I accidentally put an extra row of um crosses in here and rather than take them all out I thought it's fine I'll just tweak I'll just tweak the design to fit. Um there's one of the things I, I am able to quite get my head round, and I'm sure there's like really, really obvious ways of doing this, but just doing like a, a single, because because you see in the pattern, like to do the keyboard, there's different colour um, stitches dotted around. It's not like a straight line, like the black there. It's like little dots. There's a grey one there, and a grey one there, and a grey one there. So I made a way of doing it. I've no idea if it's right or not, but I stitched it and. Did some stuff on the back and it works. And one of them has gone a little bit funky. But not majorly funky. I don't think it's really too obvious unless you really get up in your face about it. So, yeah. I'm quite pleased with that as my first attempt. What, um, what I'm thinking of doing, if I have time, is maybe adding some like computer game characters around it. There's a really old RPG that, I play, that I've played for It's called Journey's End. Um, I think it was done in like 1986. And he's got some really cool little characters, which I think will be quite easy to stitch. So I'm hoping to maybe do those on there. Um, so, yeah, I have done some, some crosses. And it's actually been quite fun. What I've been doing, basically, after Eden's gone to bed, is I've been coming up to the, up to the craft room to wrap orders. And I've spent half an hour, an hour doing some cross stitch. So I've not done a lot. It's, you know, it, it was a slow start. I've got slightly quicker in the meantime. But... I'm, I'm sure I'm still hideously slow uh, compared to anyone else, but it's been good fun. I've enjoyed doing it. What else was I going to talk about? Um, oh, the other thing, just kind of because it's kind of stitchy related. Oh, by the way, um, the way I got, excuse me, the way I made that pattern was there's a really cool website called pick2path.com. Um, I'll put a link in the description description below and basically you can upload a photo and give you some details and it will sh give you back a design um, so it, it did that for me so that was really good I then had to tweak that design because it didn't quite fit the space the design that they gave me was bigger than than that square so I had to muck about with it anyway but it, it gave me a design so I could then get my head around how to tweak it so it worked out really good the other um, stitchy thing, just to say, the one of my other sort of project, which I'm hoping that I'll do while Sharice is away, is I've got here a huge amount of free samples. Um, th this was born out of frustration, and um, because Sharice sells needle minders, um, she's buying materials for needle minders all the time, and to try and keep the stock. Turn, turning over um, so there's always new stock um, wait there new stock board yeah so there's always new stock going on and you know she's reordering stock that's selling out and all that kind of stuff so we're always having parcels come to the door and they're always for Charisse um, and one night I had a beer and I'm like I want some posts, and I don't mean bank statements or PPI claims or charity letters or anything like that. You know, not no problem with supporting charities. Charities are great, but I want something 
the, with my name on it that's actually for me that I've ordered that I want. So I went on a load of websites and I ordered a load of free samples of materials um, with the kind of idea that I could stitch it all together into some kind of patchwork blanket thing. So I've got loads of stuff here. So I've got velvet, um, I've got all the sorts of fabrics there, I've got there's some leather in there I think. There's actually a bit which I think are actually for curtains. There's all kinds of stuff so I thought yeah I'm going to do that. Uh, I can't decide whether to try to do it on the sewing machine but I can't quite remember how, well I've never actually worked a sewing machine. I've always just sewn by hand so I'll probably do that and see how I get on. So that's all the stitchy stuff. So we have done some stitchy stuff just to you know satisfy. Um, right let's cover the giveaway the giveaway is and I meant to get the before I started doing the video so excuse me while I go and do my go and get go and get the things hello giveaway um, traveling books so we did I mentioned what these were in the last video but basically it's a, a blank journal which you write a little bit in about yourself uh, maybe some photos whatever you like and then you pass it on to someone else who you know will do the same thing they pass it on to a friend of theirs they pass it on to a friend of theirs and these books travel all over the world to different people getting different stories and different outlooks on life and all kinds of different stuff in them and then when the, when it finishes it comes back to me I scan it and put it on the internet. This was a project I did back in, I think it was 2014, um, raised a couple of hundred pounds, got a load of travelling books done and they're out there. I've not had any come back yet, but that's, um, I do still get messages about them. I got one about a month back about one of the books that um, showed up in Canada. I think that was one that initially I just left in my local library, so that was quite cool. And I think it's off somewhere else, the, you know, Maybe the Australia, I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, good fun. So I'm really, really hoping to get at least one book back one day so I can see where it's been, what he did, all that kind of thing. But I've got two um, spare that were actually, they were partly finished, but never actually finished finished. So I want to give these away. And it's been quite nice to see there has been a number of responses. And I felt, do you know, I felt bad because I was kind of like, Shall I make enough? Shall I just make a book for everyone that's asked for one? But the, are that many that do add up in how much they cost and they take ages because I hand write all the instructions in them. I don't print the stuff out and stick it in and I kind of feel it's a nicer touch if it's handwritten, even though my handwriting is dreadful. So I'm not going to do, do a book for everyone. Sorry. I am going to because. I think we did like 26 books, which include the two here, which never went anywhere. What I'm going to do is add four more to that. So we'll make it to a nice round 30 travelling books out in the wild. Um, that means I'm going to give away six books. So that's kind of cool. I, I, I hope that's, everyone's happy with that. It means you get a bigger chance of, of winning the book. Oh, just while, while I remember, before I do the giveaway, uh, the um, giveaways drawn in Sharice's last video people might be asking have, where, when, are they, when are they getting their things. We, we've agreed that Sharice will sort them out when she comes back. So she's coming back like the 22nd of May, I think. Um, and I know she's got a couple of things on when she first comes back as well. So she it might not be the first priority, you can appreciate. So they will all be done, but we'll let Sharice sort them out when she gets back, if that's okay. Just because I could wrap them, but I'm only training in wrapping needle minds. I haven't got instructions on how to wrap anything else. So, um, let's get back to this giveaway. So we're going to give away six travelling books. Um, what I've done, because I normally use random.org, but I've only got one phone, so I can't do it. Um, I've just put all the numbers down on little pieces of paper. I've got my list of, my, just a list of comments as per usual. And let's draw them and see who's won them. So the first one I'm going to draw is number 11. So number 11 is... Uh, Scottish Stitcher. Congratulations, Scottish Stitcher. 
um, you have won a travelling book. Number two, whoop, if I can hold it, is oh, number one. Number one. Let me see that, okay. Number one is Gary Hovatter. Um, congratulations, Gary. So, the uh, book is on your way. Shake. Next one is number seven. Number seven. And number seven is. Uh, Cowgirl Kate Paints a Plenty. Congratulations, Cowgirl Kate. Three, that's halfway. Next one is number 12. Number 12. Uh, number 12 is A Stitch Too Far. Congratulations, A Stitch Too Far. Next one is number 16. And number 16. <laughs> number 16 is Sharon Littlefield. Even though I've not got a pineapple cheesecake, you've won a book. Um, congratulations. Pineapple cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I love pineapple. I want pineapple cheesecake. It's pasta stuff's okay, you know, but it's not cheesecake. Or my vegetable mash. It's not the same. I've got no chocolate in the house. Um, right, one, two, three, four, five. This is the last one. The last one is... Da, 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 da. Number five. Yep, five. And number five is... Pam's Crafty Corner. Congratulations to Pam. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that is all the books. Um, it does take me a little while to prepare the books, so they won't be coming out straight away. Um, hopefully they'll be in a couple of weeks. Um, what I need from the winners is, can you please email me your name and your full name and address so I can send them out. Uh, my email address is mike.raven at gmail.com. I'll probably have it pop up on the screen and all that kind of stuff. So please let me know that. Congratulations again to the winners. So just to go through the winners again, that's Gary Hovata, um, Pam's Crafty Corner, Cowgirl Kate Painter Plenty, Scottish Stitcher, Stitch Too Far. And Sharon Littlefield. So, congratulations to all of you. I do apologise to everyone who hasn't won. I would love to send everyone a book because you all sound like lovely people and I'd love to see the books go out there. But there we go. They take ages for me to, to make and they're quite expensive to send. And reasons. Reasons. I have pretty much covered everything I need to cover. So, thank you very much for watching if you've got this far. Um, oh, we need a dad joke. What's brown and sticky? A stick. What's green and hairy and goes up and down? A gooseberry in a lift. Why did the hedgehog cross the road? To see his flatmate. What do you call a man with a spade in his head? Doug. What do you call a man without a spade in his head? Douglas. I think that's everything. Thanks very much for watching. And um, see you again soon. Bye. Ow. This is exciting. I've got Pepsi Max in the house. Sharice, Sharice only likes Diet Coke. I've got Pepsi Max. Amazing. I got a message from him saying to make um, steamed vegetables one day. Nah. What do you call a guy on the edge of of a? No, 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 no,
Mais tout le monde